May the 13th today, Kun Tun, you think action will finally take place? Um, from our news meeting today, we are still very really divided mm -hmm. whether the government is uh, going to do it today. Uh, there are two schools of thought today, mm -hmm. actually. Uh, one thing that uh, the government has been wearing down the protesters, mm -hmm. and it would be unwise to take any action, any serious action. It doesn't today. have to do anything. It because they believe anything. that you just wait until the protesters are worn out and just leave. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. But the others who have thought actually, um, the people believe that the government will face more public pressure, mm -hmm. especially the, the school will be opening um, next week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So more or less, uh, the government have three or four days to to do something to make it happen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it could be today mm -hmm. because uh, the the road closure and the use of a lot of uh, armor carriers yep. to to mm -hmm. the road today. Mm -hmm. That signifies something, mm -hmm. and we, the latest we've heard is uh, Mabun Kong Center has already announced it will be closing at 6 p.m. Mabun Kong, it um, has uh, never closed since the crisis started. Yeah, that that that, that should be a, a, a signal today. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. To be a, a big signal. Well, as we talk, uh, 15 minutes before five, a lot of motion is yeah, taking motion. place, meaning yeah. that uh, shops were told to close and a lot of companies in that area have been told to let their people go home early. Employees were being told to go home. And even some companies say, don't come to work tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Uh, you think this is another psychological warfare launched by the government, the army? Um, it, it could be another psychological thing from, from, from the uh, government side. But, uh, okay, it, it's back to um, which 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 uh, side uh, the government and the red shirt have more uh, time mm -hmm. on the side? Mm -hmm. The red shirt themselves, um, they they don't have much more uh, moral uh, support left actually, mm -hmm. and uh, it depends on how how much money they are getting from whoever is uh, sponsoring this. Uh, but maybe uh, the red shirts are also um, governed by the announcement by the prime minister today that the November fourteen date for his proposed election is now off, no more, mm -hmm. no more negotiations. Uh, that means that the Red Shirt leaders will now consider their option of a compromise finished, finished. done. It, it could be either mm -hmm. way, Chai, uh, it, it could be that it, they, the Red Shirt could be more galvanized by the government announcement that the November poll is off, mm -hmm. or they could be, um, uh, what to say, uh, they, they could be uh, at a loss mm -hmm. as to what, what to do next because uh, apparently they have been trapping themselves mm -hmm. by uh, refusing to, to agree to the government offer. Mm -hmm. So um, now that the government say the poll is off, they, they, they have left with no option mm -hmm. but to mm -hmm. continue mm -hmm. with the limited uh, resources they are having at mm -hmm. the moment. Mm -hmm. There's a big risk also if the army takes action in that rush person area because it's mm -hmm. the central Business in area. The city. Yeah, and there were reports that there might be some attempt at uh, subversion of the area. Subversion. Bombs might explode, uh, some unidentified gunmen may emerge to you know, shoot at people mm -hmm. to create a situation whereby chaos would reign and the government would lose. That, That's the worst case scenario that we are looking that exactly at. That exactly is the, uh, is the only scenario that uh, we think could lead to a crackdown. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, unless the Rachel do something as drastic as the, you just said, mm -hmm. uh, that uh, we will go and take some some kind of hatch action against mm -hmm. them, against them. Mm -hmm. uh, if they um, they mm -hmm. remain in the protest side without doing anything, it it would be very politically uh, risky mm -hmm. for the government to move in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I assume that at least from experience in the past few weeks that what we hear is only part of what they really want to do, meaning that they put pressure by giving out stories of uh, military action, more pressure, and then today they're talking about blockading mm -hmm. the protest site, not yes. allowing new people to come in. And make it easier for people to go out. To go out mm -hmm. and cutting power supply and water supply for real this time. Yeah. Uh, and not necessarily having to use force, mm -hmm. meaning that they will tell the protesters 
uh, more than what they actually do so that they would not have to do what they exactly. don't well, want to mm -hmm. do. It, it could be the case, it, it, really, because mm -hmm. um, the logistically, it's not in favor of the red shirt at the moment, mm -hmm. but politically, it's not in favor of the government. Mm -hmm. So it depends on who wins first. Mm -hmm. The public pressure will increase to the government mm -hmm. for the next few days. Uh, the school is opening, and mm -hmm. you know, and people complaining more and more. Mm -hmm. And for the red shirt, it's about logistics: mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. the power, the water, and, mm -hmm. and the people coming in and, and out. Do mm -hmm. you see the political compromise option totally out of the question now? I think they both both sides have talked themselves out of <laughs> out of the compromise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that means that you are back to square one, and now you are beginning a new kind of confrontation. Confrontation. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we don't know. Yesterday you talk about the sixty forty formula, meaning the government may have a slight uh, advantage over the red shirts. Mm -hmm. Today, still, uh, we, as we still think that. Uh, mm -hmm. The government is still having uh, some slight advantage, mm -hmm. but you know we have like uh, a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for the government to do anything for, before the school opening on mm -hmm. on Monday. Mm -hmm. And as far as logistics go, um, it could be tougher and tougher for the rich. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so it depends on who lose the advantage first. Mm -hmm. But. Uh Finally, the patience of the public seems to be running out too. Running out, but mm -hmm. uh, as as we know it, mm -hmm. if we live with something long enough, we get used to it. Ah, that is the, that's <laughs> a dangerous trend that <laughs> you get trend. used to this kind of confrontation, mm -hmm. and we hope that that would not be too long before a solution. Uh, hopefully, not a solution that involves uh, bloodshed or crackdown, but uh, the possibility of both sides realizing that the time to put an end to the confrontation is here and that they should go back to a political compromise. But we don't know. Depends. In fact, the situation changes every hour. Every hour. And now it's almost 5. The, they were talking about 6 o'clock. 6 uh, p.m. 6 p.m. Mm. Uh, action, action time. The road and the BTS and everything will be completely mm. brought mm. around the area. So stay tuned, we will keep you updated on this program.